Mazda has a healthy lineup of sport utility vehicles, starting with a small but affordable CX-30 and culminating in a three-row CX-90. There is, however, a bit of gap in Mazda's offerings, a roomy SUV for five. That changes with the impeding release of the new 2025 Mazda CX-70, which is nearly the same size as the CX-90 but removes the third roof for maximum passenger comfort. Design is a clear point of pride with CX-70. The natural athletic posture bestowed by the large platform is further enhanced with thoroughly modern and sporty touches. CX-70's aggressive appearance is immediately noticed with the wide and low front fascia and chiseled front end. Mazda further emphasized CX-70's dynamic look with contrasting black accents throughout the exterior and available black metal and machine-cut finished 21-inch wheels giving the vehicle a great stance even when parked. The interior of the new Mazda CX-70 is similar to the larger CX-90 and that's a good thing. We love that classy and uncluttered cabin and the automaker promises the same high-quality materials and craftsmanship here. The CX-70 does get the option of a new red Napa leather interior inspired by the 100th anniversary special edition MX-5 which is complemented by black hide on the steering wheel, dash and door guards, all featuring double stitching. There are also contrast grey metallic inlays as standard to enhance the sporty feeling inside the CX-70. Mazda said the CX-70 debuts a handful of new features for the branding including remote folding rear seats. The cargo area has been reshaped and gained storage compartments under the floor along with hooks for bags. Inside, the CX-90's dashboard including a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and 10.3-inch infotainment screen carry over to the CX-70. Mazda's baked-in Amazon Alexa for voice commands, which is the new feature not currently in the CX-90. Under the hood will be one of three different powertrain options that mirror those found in the CX-90. The CX-70 will get the turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-6 engine and 48-volt hybrid system in both 280 horsepower and 340 horsepower ratings, as well as a plug-in hybrid using a 2.5-liter gasoline engine and an electric motor to produce a combined 323 horsepower. All three are backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission and come only with all-wheel drive.